What's up racers and collectors, CB here. Poncho's here as well, munching on a bone. Well, Halloween's right around the corner, so I found these Hot Wheels Halloween cars. Pretty interesting looking bunch. We're gonna crack these open, see what they can do on the track. We're also gonna add to our uh, heat races. We've got two more heats we're gonna do today in the Race the Case Tournament Series. We've got six winners over here already moving on to the finals. We're gonna add two more to that today. But first, let's pop open these Halloween cars, take a closer look at them, then let's get them on the track, see what they can do. Okay, let's take a look at our first Halloween car. This is the only one that is not a fantasy car. This is a 64 Chevy Impala. All of these have these really cool skull wheels on them with great paint jobs. Now I got these at Publix. I don't know where else they sell them. I haven't seen them anywhere else and I know Publix isn't exactly everywhere, mostly just down here in the south. But uh, if anyone else knows where else, where else you can find them, put in the comments so anyone else hunting them down knows where to go. Anyways, we're going to throw this one up in lane one. We are going to race these. Moving on to our next one, this is Muscle Bound, uh, fantasy car, really interesting wheels on these. Um, this one also has, they all have the skulls on the wheels, and uh, this is number 31, obviously for October 31st, and we're going to put that up in lane two. And here we got the Street Shaker, I gotta say that these are pretty uh, cool paint jobs on them. And uh, this is a fantasy car I'm not real familiar with. I do like it though. And also we have, this is Barbaric. Now, <laughs> this one's definitely interesting. I don't know what that's supposed to be on the hood there. Um, but, if you look at the paint job on the side, pretty cool with that eye. I don't know what kind of animal that's supposed to be. Doesn't really matter. We're going to see if it can carry some speed with it. We'll get that up there here in a minute. we got one more. Okay, I think I saved the best for last. This one is really cool. Check this out. This is mad fast. But I want to. what's really cool about it is look at the artwork on it with the skull. And it's kind of a matte black finish. Really cool. Don't know how it would do on the track with those skinny front tires, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Let's let's get these guys out of the packages, get them up on track, see what they can do. And our Halloween cars are at the starting gate, ready to go. So now that I've looked at this barbaric a little bit closer, I guess those are barbs. That's why it's called barbaric, and that is a wolf on the side. Pretty cool, interesting group of cars. But we are ready to race them, see what they can do, let's go. So not a lot of speed from these guys, but the Street Shaker does take the win on that. And by the way, I forgot to mention at the first, at the beginning of the race, that uh, there's five cars, obviously four lanes. So we're holding off on the Mad Fast. It'll go against the winner of this group, which looks like it is going to be the Street Shaker. But they've uh, switched lanes. We're going to send them down again. So that Street Shaker did get the win, but that 64 Impala showed some speed, hung right with it. They got the exact same times, but you saw the flashing uh, of the uh, Street Shaker. That means that it did win. So we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put uh, that Mad Fast in between these two. 
see if we can get any speed from that. And uh, since that was such a close race, we're going to give that Impala one more chance. Let's send these guys down and see what happens. mad fast living up to its name that thing is quick 3.01 time that's up there with some of the best I have uh, maybe I have a new fan of favorite fantasy casting here I don't know but that 64 Impala with those narrow axles just bouncing around too much if it could if it could just stay straight and get some traction it'd be pretty quick but uh, we, sw we switched them up again I want to see if this mad fast can uh, go sub three seconds let's send them down So the Mad Fast is our fastest of the Halloween cars for 2024. Definitely had fun racing those. Some pretty cool models in there. This one uh, may have to get put up against some of my fastest models to see what it can do. Pretty impressive. But now it's time we move on to heat number seven. Let's take a look at what we're going to be racing for that. Okay, moving on. Heat seven here, starting in lane one. We've got the Cadillac Project GTP Hypercar. Really cool model. I had this, I have one of these and I raced it before, but that was before I changed the starting gate and the format and layout of the track. And it didn't do very well because it was so low to the ground. So I'm anxious to see what this can do on the, on the new uh, track here. So that's gonna be your lane one car. Over in lane two, we had to throw a truck in here. We've got the heavy hitcher tow truck. Got a bunch of these. I love them. They're good for scenery around the track. That's going to be your lane two car. And for our last two cars, we got a couple old school muscle cars. This is 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. Ran one of these once before on the track. It didn't do too well. Maybe this one will be different. That's going to be your lane three car. And over in lane four, 68 Dodge Dart. Not sure how this one's gonna do. Looks pretty skinny. You know how the skinny cars tend to bounce around a lot on these orange track, but uh, let's get these open, get them up on the top of Frugal Rock Raceway, send them down. Okay, heat seven cars at the gate, ready to go. That Cadillac is wedged into that lane. There is not a lot of space. So there might be some rubbing going on, might slow it down. A little worried about the dart too. It's going to be just like that uh, that uh, Impala that we raced in the last race. It's pretty narrow. It's going to bounce around a lot, but it should make for an interesting race. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Well, apparently the width of that uh, Cadillac uh, didn't hinder it. It did get the wind, but not very impressive speeds, unfortunately. Really unfortunate on those two uh, old muscle cars. Man, they're cool looking cars, but they're dogs on the track. We've switched them up on the lanes. I'm gonna send them down again. Here we go. Heat number seven winner, Cadillac Project GTP Hypercar. Really cool looking model. 
Not as fast as I would like, but it's fast enough to move it on to the finals. Let's take a look at what we're going to be racing for heat number eight. And on to heat eight, starting in lane one, Max Steel. This will be my first time racing one of these. Never had one before. Kind of anxious to see what it'll do. That's going to be your lane one car. Lane two, Hover Storm. Yes, we're actually going to race a hovercraft. Got some pretty decent wheels on it, though. Who knows? Could be fast. Lane two. Lane three from the Rod Squad series. The Hirohata Merc. Customized 51 Mercury. Pretty cool. Like the paint job, like the white walls, too. Don't know how it's going to be on the track. Never raced one. Lane three. And finally, in lane four, Lamborghini Huracan Storado. Off-road Lamborghini from the HW Dirt Series. <laughs> I think this is really cool. So we're ready to get these out of the package. Let's get them up on the track. Go racing one more time here. Kind of a strange looking group for our Heat 8, but hopefully we can get some speed out of it. <laughs> one if, if not all of them. Hover, hovercraft's got a little bit of uh, weight to it, so we'll see. Let's get them started. And that orange off-road Lamborghini runs away with the wind. No one really even close. Decent speed, 3.08 time. We switched them up in the lanes. We're gonna send them down one more time. I don't think anyone has anything for that Lamborghini though, but we'll see. Here we go. Oh, it's always nice to see a Lamborghini get a win. Lamborghini Huracan Storado moving on to the finals. That's it for me. Hey, I appreciate you all coming out watching the races with me. Please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Zeroing in on a thousand subscribers, so please hit that button. And we'll see you next time.